Hello, royal folks. It's good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of royal news and analysis. But before we start, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon. Thanks. So now, the plot thickens as we dissect the timeline of events. Prince Harry, the dutiful son, rushes back to the UK upon learning of his father's cancer diagnosis. The public is led to believe that this is an act of familial devotion, a touching reunion between father and son during a trying time. But oh, how the truth reveals itself when we scratch beneath the surface. A mere 30 minutes after meeting with King Charles, Harry receives the call from his puppet master, Meghan Markle, beckoning him back to the United States. Yes, you heard it right, just 30 minutes. One can't help but wonder what transpired in that brief encounter. Was it a genuine family moment, or was it merely a well-scripted scene for the PR playbook? The Duke of Sussex, ever the obedient puppet, immediately decides to cut short his stay in the UK and jets back across the pond. A police escort from Heathrow Airport to Clarence House ensures that his departure is as flashy as his arrival. It seems that even in times of familial crisis, the couple can't resist the allure of grand gestures and public attention. And here's where the real kicker comes in, the joint appearance scheduled for next week. A major event to commemorate a year until the Invictus Games, a project that Prince Harry initiated during his royal tenure. While the Invictus Games are undoubtedly a noble cause, the timing of this joint appearance raises eyebrows. It becomes abundantly clear that Meghan and Harry are using a family health crisis as a backdrop for their carefully orchestrated public appearance. The Invictus Games, a project born out of Harry's royal connections, is now weaponized for their post-royal endeavors. It's a classic move from the PR playbook. Take a serious event, sprinkle in some royal relevance, and voila, you've got yourself a headline-grabbing appearance. But let's not forget the most conspicuous absence in this charade, Meghan Markle herself. While Harry jets back and forth across the Atlantic, Meghan, the puppeteer pulling the strings, conveniently remains in the United States with their children. It seems that the Duchess of Sussex has mastered the art of selective participation, choosing when and where to make her grand entrances. To add insult to injury, Meghan's last visit to the UK was for Queen Elizabeth II's funeral in September 2022. A funeral, a somber occasion. Yet Meghan manages to find her way into the narrative, ensuring that her presence is felt even in the most solemn of moments. In conclusion, my friends, what we witness here is not a genuine display of familial concern, but a carefully choreographed PR stunt. Meghan and Harry, the masters of manipulation, use their royal ties and family health crises as mere props in their quest for the limelight. As the curtain falls on this latest act, let us not be fooled by the theatrix. For behind the scenes, the puppet master continues to pull the strings, orchestrating a spectacle that is as calculated as it is distasteful. So what do you think about this news, guys? Thank you for tuning in to today's discussion. As always, I encourage you to share your thoughts in the comments section below. Stay tuned for more updates on the intriguing world of royalty. Until then, thanks for watching. We'll see you again with some more fascinating news about the royal family. Thank you.